come on, blink already! This stare off's gone on six hours already! Well, hello there, fellow mammals. The names! Oh, my hat. Oh, gosh. I was having such a great streak of non-hatless videos, and then this happens! Oh, come on! It's worse than having surgery on a Tuesday! Because Tuesday's Tusk Tuesday. You don't want to miss it. You shouldn't have surgery. Schedule it for another day. Well, hello there, fellow mammals. The name's Theodore. Theodore Tusk! And welcome back to another unboxing of the Omakase Crate! A bi-monthly anime subscription box. This time, the theme is Naruto Shippuden, so let's just dive right in! First up, we have this exclusive Naruto Mi Ninja Gold figurine. If you're wondering if it's actual gold, the answer is no. I'm like a gold detector. I know these things. If I swallow it, it's gold. If I don't, it's obviously not gold. A lot of gold watches have been lost to this theory. I'm like my own bank account, except it's not my money going into that account. It's yours if you have a gold watch. Next up is this exclusive Allied Shinobi Forces headband sticker. Upon receiving it, it is only customary to attach it to your forehead immediately and wear it forever to show your dedication and loyalty to the good guys. Otherwise, you'll be banished to a chicken coop to eat compost for the rest of your life. It's obvious which route you should choose, though. The compost route. You'd have to be crazy to pass up on free food. Third in the crate is this Sasuke figure with multiple points of articulation and interchangeable hands and a sword with two included sheaths. They say if you rub the belly of a Buddha, you'll be granted good luck. If you rub Sasuke's belly, you'll be granted master fighting skills. Though under the unlikely chance that I'm wrong, have a friend you don't like test it out for you. As my grandma always says, better their ass than yours. Fourth is this Naruto and Hinata poster. It's pretty big, so I'm probably going to hang it up in my neighbor's house. If they refuse, I'll do this. Fifth, we have this Gara plush to keep you company at night. You'll feel well protected and probably get the best night's rest you've had in a while. I hope you like to build sand castles though, because side effects include waking up surrounded by sand. What, did you think this was free company and protection you were getting? Ha, what a sucker. I was, cause I totally fell for it. God, I hate sand castles. How did you even get the sand here? This is the Arctic. We only have snow. Second to last is this SD Day Dada keychain. An excellent companion to take with you on your travel. At least that's what you should lead him to believe. Don't tell him you plan to throw him in the nearest incinerator. He's a bad guy after all, so best to correct his way of thinking by making it so he doesn't think. Does that make me a bad guy? Let's move on before you answer that question. I don't want to go in an incinerator. And then last in the crate is this fun little illustration which includes a list of all the items on the back. The only problem I see playing out in this scene is I wasn't invited. In fact, I'd be doing exactly what she's doing except my whole face would be in the bowl. Naruto's bound to let me have the rest after my face has laid claim to it. Well, thanks for watching, fellow mammals. If you like what you saw and you want to try out this bi-monthly anime crate for yourself, click on the link in the description so they know Theodore sent you. I'll even let you pet my belly. Though you won't be getting good luck or mad fighting skills from me. Just a never-ending craving for fish. It's a gift and a curse. A gift because fish is delicious. A curse because eventually that fish is gone and you wish you had more of it. Also, it hurts when it comes out. Oh god, the bones and the scales. Oh. Oh, no! The blood. So much blood!